What happens to your hormones after a hysterectomy? Let's talk about surgical menopause. Every woman goes through menopause, but some go through it earlier because of a hysterectomy. So what is a hysterectomy? A hysterectomy is an operation in which a woman's uterus is removed because of either fibroids, endometriosis, heavy bleeding, or cancer. Whatever the reason for having your uterus removed, your hormones will be affected. Yes, even if your ovaries are left intact. Why? Because of the shock of the surgery on your body, the temporary interruption of the blood flow to the ovaries, and because your uterus is part of the hormonal communication between your brain and your ovaries. Your hypothalamus perceives all surgeries as a shock to your system hormonally, but removing your reproductive organs are particularly disruptive to your hormones, especially your sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. And studies show that women who undergo a hysterectomy will go through menopause on average five years earlier than if they did not have their uterus surgically removed. Hysterectomies are performed at any age, and sometimes women will go through surgical menopause. You definitely will if your ovaries are removed, even very young women, but especially women in premenopause. Between your late 30s and your late 40s, your ovaries are already producing less and less hormones. The shock of losing your uterus can put you into a surgical menopause, and that's a hard shock on your body. Immediate hot flashes, night sweat, you have trouble falling asleep, and when you finally do, you wake up between two and four o'clock in the morning, anxious, heart palpitating, drenched to the skin, you're moody, irritable, depressed, your brain is in a fog, you can't focus, you can't concentrate, you're forgetful. Surgical menopause is no laughing matter. So what can you do about it? Well, if you are considering a hysterectomy, for whatever reason, you should have a frank conversation with your doctor about providing you with hormonal therapy immediately after the surgery. And if you've already had a hysterectomy and you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's not too late to start hormone replacement therapy, preferably bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. And if there are contraindications to hormone therapy, like you have ovarian or breast cancer, then consider supporting your hypothalamus nutritionally to help ease your symptoms and prevent you from aging rapidly. And even if you do decide to use hormone replacement therapy, supporting your hypothalamus will really help. The rest of your hormones will be in better balance, your adrenals, thyroid, pituitary, as well as your brain and your immune system. You'll survive your surgical menopause. Your hypothalamus controls all your hormones, your neurotransmitters, and your immune system. When you go through surgical menopause so drastically, your hypothalamus becomes really out of balance, and that imbalances your entire biochemical message system. So you're tired all the time, you gain weight, your skin sags, your vagina dries out, you age rapidly, and your risk of inflammatory diseases like arthritis and heart disease increases, all before your time. If only your uterus was removed and not your ovaries, supporting your hypothalamus as soon as possible will help your ovaries wake up. Your natural hormone balance will recover sooner and you can prevent rapid aging. Now what if you went through a surgical menopause really, really a long time ago, years ago? It's never too late to support your hypothalamus. You won't salvage your ovaries, but you may salvage your adrenals, your brain, and your health. I know your particular case may be different, so why don't you join me in our hormone support group? Well, you can access that by signing up to the, for the hormone reboot training. And let's discuss what would be the best for you. Plus, you'll learn the best ways to support your hypothalamus and balance your hormones naturally. And you'll get the support you need from other women going through similar hormonal transitions. You're not alone. We've got you. The symptoms of surgical menopause are no different than natural menopause, but they can be much worse. Going from your normal hormone production one day to nothing after surgery can wreak havoc on your health physically and mentally. It doesn't have to be so hard if you stay informed and get the compassionate support you need. And that's why I produce these videos, to help educate you about your body, your hormones, your choices. I'll see you in the next one.